Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to show you how you can run your Django app through AWS ECR. So first of all, we're going to create a Django image and then we're going to push, paint this Django image and then we're going to push it to AWS ECR and then we will take the pull from AWS ECR and then we will again construct the container for that image and then we'll run our Django app inside that. So let's begin. So first of all, we have to create a Django image. So for this, I have a sample Django app present right here, which is termed as Django app. So for this, I will create a Docker file, which I can name as Dockerfile.django. You can name it anything you want. We'll just name it according to the app name. And now we can start building this Docker file. So for building Docker file, uh, we can follow the standard formats. Uh, for for Docker for a Django app, first of all, you need to import a Python environment. So I will just import here Python 3.9. And we just just get the slim version of that environment. All right, now I'm going to set the work directory here, which will be slash app. All right, these are just the standard commands which I'm running right now. Now we can run uh, some. Now we can install some uh, libraries or package lists in our uh, Docker system in our basically Docker file. So for that, we can run some commands like app get update and app get install to install the latest updates in our docker image all right uh, so for this now so for the next part we can copy the requirements uh, file from our django app to our docker path so we can copy it like if i can see i think i have the requirements of txt present right here so i can so i can so i can so I can copy this path like copy. Then I can go for dot slash Django app. And then I'm going to refer to my requirements file which is requirements.txt. Then I'm going to copy it to the root of our app, which is simply dot. All right. Now we've copied the requ requirements file. Now we can install the requirements. We can just simply run run pip install. And then we can put a flag like no cache directory so it does not uh, create some cache for requirements. Then we can simply run the hyphen r requirements or txt to install the requirements from this file. All right, perfect. Now we can move on. The next part which is just simply copying the whole app. So we can do that by copy slash uh, dot slash Django app. And we can copy it to the root of our Docker container, Docker images container. All right, perfect. Now for uh, Django, we need to expose the 8000 port because Django is running on 8000 port by default. And now we can simply uh, just pass it the command for booting up the Django app, which is CMD. And I'm going to pass the list of commands, which is Python and manage.py and a run server. For this, also, I can also part, uh, I can also uh, pass in the port for the exact address where this app was going to run that will be 0 .0 .0 .0 .0 8000 that will just specify where my app is going to run and i think we're done with the docker image now we can build this image and now we'll move on to pushing this image to aws ecr all right so for pushing the image to aws ecr we can follow through a certain set of commands so first of all we can build the image for building the image we can uh, simply run our build command for docker which is docker build hyphen t then the name of the image that, that i'm going to create i'll just name it django app and then we can put in hyphen f because we are referring to a specific file inside our um, folder with the docker file dot django then i can put the dot to refer all the contains in this file first of all i need to go in the directory so that is the cd docker directory and now i can run this command which will start building our django app image it's just going to download some requirements and libraries for your docker image so we can wait till it downloads that
All right. So I think we have uh, created our Django image. It is giving a warning right here, uh, which is just stating that we need to prevent unintended behavior related to signals. So this um, can be ignored for now. But if you want to fix this, we can place our commands in double uh, apostrophe rather than single apostrophe. So we can place all the commands like that. And now if I run the same some same command again, it should uh, build the app with no warnings. All right, perfect. So as you can see, it has built the app with no warnings. And now if I see the images in the system, I can see Django app is existing in the list. Perfect. So now uh, for running this image in a local system, you can simply run docker run command, but we will run that after pulling from AWS ECR so we can demonstrate the purpose of AWS ECR in sharing Docker images. Now we will tag the Docker image. How we're going to tag the Docker image is by using the Docker tag command. We're going to use Docker tag. Then I'm going to write the name of the image, which is that Django app. And then I'm going to pass in the tag, which is latest here. And then I'm going to tag it to my AWS ECR account. Now, how do you find AWS ECR account? Is first of all, head up your AWS console. And now you can uh, go inside the EA ECR, which is Elastic container repository. I have another repo created here before, but we do not need that right now. So we can tag it. Actually, we need, we need that right now. Before pushing the image, we need to build a uh, create a Docker repository. So for creating the Docker repository, you can either create the repository from the uh, GUI itself. If we create click on create repository and just type in the name, it will create a repository for us. But if you want to create a repository from command line, you can create it as well. So for this, you need to have AWS CLI installed in a system and also you need to configure AWS CLI in the system. system. All right, guys, so now I'll show you how you can create access keys for your AWS account. So head up to your AWS console and then head up to the, your profile section, uh, your profile down bar and you can see the security credentials tab here. Now click on that. And now scroll down to the manage key sec section and you can click on create access key here. And now it will ask you to create the keys for a particular user. Uh, you can select the user for which you want to create some keys, but I'll just select the root user, which has all the permissions, uh, but you can select any particular user which has limited access to the AWS uh, services. So I'll just create a access key for my root user head and I click on create access key. So here's the access key, uh, access key ID and secret access key as well. You can copy these and set up in your AWS configured uh, in a terminal. All right, so the second thing includes is downloading the AWS CLI uh, package. You can install it for Windows through the MSI installer. You can search for AWS CLI install. And you can hit up the first link here. And now go down in the Windows section and you can head up to the AWS CLI uh, official link, which is present right here. And now you can uh, install it uh, any way you want. and you can run this package like this and just follow through all the setup process and install the AWS CLI. All right, it is already installed for me, so it will not walk me through all the steps, but uh, those are just simple steps which requires access to directories or permissions, something like that. For installing uh, AWS CLI in a Linux system, the commands are re relatively simpler. So you just have to hit a call request to AWS CLI server, and then you have to unzip the file you have installed here, and then just uh, run this command, sudo AWS install, that will install AWS CLI in your Linux, Linux system. All right, so after you install AWS CLI, you can head up to your terminal. Uh, you can first restart your device and then head up to the terminal and look for AWS hyphen hyphen version to verify if AWS CLI has been installed or not. And if you get a version number just like this, that represents that your CLI has been installed. Now for configuring the uh, AWS CLI uh, for multiple services, basically to configure your AWS account inside terminal, you can run the command AWS configure. And now you can enter all the access keys and all the uh, secret access and also the region name, which are present right here. Uh, as you can see, I've already entered it. So it shows me a value right here, but it will sh uh, show none if you have entered nothing as of now. All right, so I'll just click on enter because I don't want to change it right now. And AWS secret access key, you'll put, put the secret access right here. For the region name, just put the region name in which you're working. And for the default output format, you can keep it none as of now. All right, I know AWS has been configured now.
So now you can start working with AWS. All right, so now uh, we have configured AWS in our system. Now we can begin creating the repository, which will be created by AWS ECR. Then uh, we can uh, use the create repository command for this, which is create repository. Then we can put a flag like repository name, which I can just put as something like Django repo or something like that. You can put it whatever you want. Now I'm going to put the region here. I think the region was AB South one. Yeah, the region is AB South one. And this should create a repository with the name Django repo inside our ECR. All right, so as you can see, we have a Django repo repository right here. Perfect. So now we have given AWS ECR repository. Now we can move on to the next part, which is um, basically logging your Docker into your AWS ECR. How you can log in is by running this simple command which is AWS ECR, get login password. Then you're going to pass the region name with the region flag, which is AP South one for me. And then you're going to run another command after a pipe, which is Docker login. Then you're just going to pass username flag. And you have to put AWS in there. This is just hard coded. You don't have to change it anytime. Password, standard input. And now we can pass in uh, the location of our AWS account, which will be represented by our account ID. So once we have the account ID, which is this, we can copy this account ID and then we can paste it right here. And now we need to also put some uh, URA, URL against that which is dot dkr dot ecr dot your region name dot dkr dot ecr dot your region name which is ap south one and then uh, you can put simply uh which uh, you can put amazon dot dot aws dot com all right so this is a location of your aws account so Amazon and AWS does not have a full stop between them. So that are just joined. Now if I run this command, it should give me the message that login succeeded and perfect. So we have logged in our Docker into our AWS ECR. Now we can move on to the tagging of image. Now we can tag our image to AWS ECR. How we're going to tag is Docker tag. Then I'm going to pass in my image name, which is Django app here. And the tag for the image, which is latest. Now I'm going to again copy this. Uh, which is our AWS accounts location or URL. Then we're going to pass the Docker repo name, which is Django repo, if I'm not wrong. I'll just check it again. Yes, it was Django repo. And then uh, we can pass in the tag by which we want to save it. I will just name it latest. It will save it by the name of latest. If you want to pass something like Django, then it's, it's going to save it by the name of Django. All right. So now if I run this, my image is tagged. To this name so if i now run docker images i'll see that i have another image right here which is tagged by the name of what i've entered with what i've entered with above all right so now uh, we can push the image finally so we can push docker image we can run docker push and then the url of our tagged image which is this django repo then we're going to pass the tag for this which is here this is django and now it should put push our image to aws ecr perfect as you can see it is pushing the image into layers which is the correct way of pushing how, how our docker images get how does docker images get pushed so i think that will be pushed in a second yeah they are pushed now if i check the docker repo i have my django uh, tag right here so this is the image which is uh, the image of our django app present in the aws ecr perfect so now to run this image on our system we need to first of all uh log in into AWS CLI and do all the authentication and pass in all uh, set all the environment variables. Now again, I can pull the image from AWS ECR and then I can run that pulled image in my system. So first of all, I'll just clear all the images in my system. So I can clear that by Docker RMI and then I'm going to pass the image ID. I'll just delete the force. All right, so all my images should be deleted now because they were essentially the same images, just name different because of tagging. Perfect. So we have deleted all the images. Now we can take a pull of the image that is present in our repository. So if I go here 
I can, I think I can simply copy its URI. Great, and now I can run the command docker pull. And then I have to paste the URI which was there, which is nothing but the location of your database account slash your repo name, and then the tag of that image. All right, now if I run this command, the pull should start. And yeah, so it is starting and it has pulled. So if I run Docker images, I should see, yeah, as you can see, I have uh, an image by the name of the repository, which was presented in AWS ECR. And now we can run this repository. How I've done this image, how we're going to run this is by simply Docker run command. And then we can set up the basic configuration, like say, uh, binding the port 8000 to 8000. And then we can again paste the name of this Docker image. And we're going to pass the tag after the semicolon. All right. So essentially, this should run our Django app. Let's see if it does. All right. So I think there was some problem with uh, running the image with my image name because the image was already stored in my cache from the previous push. So, but if you're pulling it fresh, there should no, there should be no problem by running the command Docker run and the image the name of the image. So for this, I've just run Docker run and the image ID that also runs the image. And as you can see, we have got the command which is watching for file changes. All right, so as you can see, my Docker image is now currently running and it is running on the port 8000. That means our app is now running perfectly fine. So yeah, guys, so that was about how you can push your Docker image your Django Docker image to AWS ECR and then take pull and run it on your local device. So yeah, thanks. that's it for the video and guys, thanks for watching.